So this is known as the seminiferous tubules. Okay, so sperm is produced here within the testes. And so where does it need to get to? Perspective, so this here is the um, vagina. And so here's the vagina. And then this entire structure here is the, the uterus itself. But what you have on this side right here, so this, um, this is the ovary where the egg is produced. And so in order for the egg to reach the fallopian tube at this region over here, which is known as the um, ampulla, we have what's known as the fimbriae. So the fimbriae will bring the egg towards this way through the fallopian tube, and then it'll kind of just like hang out in this area. So how does sperm get to this um, point? So sperm is produced here in the seminiferous tubules, and it gets uh, transported to this region here. This is known as the ret testes. So once it gets to the ret testes, right, this is like the convergence of all these seminiferous tubules, you have this part. Okay, so this is known as the epididymis. So the epididymis is the site for um, sperm maturation. So I also have it here shown in the male model. So testes, and then this here is the epididymis. So the epididymis is here, and then if you follow this, the white structure here, um, this is the, the vast difference. Okay, so we're gonna show it on the other model. But then the other thing I wanna point out here is um, this is the what's known as the spermatic cord. So the spermatic cord contains the vas deferens and then all of the different um, vasculature that helps to supply, to supply the blood to the, um, the testes. So this here is the vas deferens, right? So the sperm, it's maturing here through the, at the epididymis. It goes up through the vas deferens, goes around here, and then um, it gets to this point, okay? So this is known as the um, ampulla of the vas deferens. What semen is composed of, so semen contains um, sperm, but it also, there's also um, accessory fluids uh, that are gonna be secreted by these accessory glands. Okay, and so the, the three main uh, glands, so um, first, so let me show you here. So this one is known as the seminal gland. So this here is the seminal gland. The, this is where the majority of the fluid is gonna be secreted by. Okay, it's about like 60 to 65. What's about 30% is here. So this is the prostate gland. This gland is here, the bulbo-urethral gland, because um, this is the bulb of the penis. So this part right here, and then it's getting into the urethra. So this is the bulbo-urethral gland. And this secretes about, it's only about 5% of, of the fluid. Okay, so there's not as much in it. The fluid that is secreted in kind of like a clear, um, viscous, uh, thick substance um, that helps to um, lubricate um, the glands, the glands penis. So we have sperm, but uh, why do we need these accessory fluids? Environment within the within the vagina has a low pH. It's acidic. Help neutralize that um, the fluid that's secreted from the accessory structure. It's like an alkaline. It's more of an alkaline mixture to help balance. That. So females have this um, acidic. The, the vagina is kind of like acidic because it's part of the um, immune immune response, right? What helps to like, you know, prevent infections and, and things of that nature. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, the next thing is that these, the sperm, they have these long tails. And with these long tails, we need to power the, the movement of them. And so there's also like carbohydrates, for instance, like fructose, um, that's uh, found within this fluid. And so what it does is it's providing these sperm uh, with an energy source because they need the energy in order to power that tail so they can um, continue its journey and, and fertilize that. Uh, let's continue. All right, so the vas deferens is here, and then this is the ampulla of the vas deferens. Uh, this part is the seminal gland, seminal vesicle, and then this is the prostate gland. So this here is my prostate, and then um, this is the duct for it, where the, all this fluid is coming from. So then this is the, where it travels through the prosthetic urethra, and then this is the spongy urethra. So the semen will travel through here, and then it exits. So obviously, all right, the penis will be inserted here into the vagina, and so it, it brings it closer towards um, this region. So this region is the cervix. Okay, but before we go up here, let's look, let's work, our, let's work backwards a little bit. Uh, so you have the, the outer lips, which is here, this is the labia majora, and then the one that's the smaller ones here on the inside, These are this is the labia minora. Okay, so if we work anterior, so this here is the, the clitoris. So now, so this, not, this is not the orifice for the vagina. This is because what I look at is this. This is the um, urinary bladder. 
right? So this is where urine is gonna be coming out. So this is the root of the orifice. But if I go backwards this way, this is where the, the vagina is. Okay, so the vagina orifice is here. So then once you get to the, um, to the cervix, this entire structure is um, known as the uterus. The uterus has three different layers. So on the inside, it's the endometrium, and the middle, it's the myometrium, and then on the outside, it's the paramitrium. Uh, parametrium. The different regions of the, the uterus. So this is the fundus, so the top part. It's you think of like the stomach, right? The stomach also has a fundus, and then this part is the body. So this is the body of the uterus, and the stomach has this uh, same similar shaped um, structure. We finish our journey here. So this is back the model that I started with. This is the vagina. So that sperm is going to continue to travel through here, and it has to reach its way, um, has to travel here within the uterus before it can finally help to fertilize the egg here, which is gonna be found within the ampulla. Uh, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed.